our studio core begin as street scum. Bored to death. Unsatisfied. A blunder. head screws from the flat head screws this flat head screw goes in there now Sort them by screw head size. Our Phillips head screws have three different screw head sizes. I could do this. I could totally do this. I know I could do this. Repeat after me. It is by will alone I set my mind in motion. It is by will alone I set my mind in motion. It is by will alone I set my mind in motion. It is by will alone I set my mind in motion. Do this anymore. I'm done with this. I hate this job. I want to, I want to work things. at that studio. I want to build things. I want to do something with my hands. I'd do anything to work at that studio. But 
There's no There's way. just no way. How much did they even get paid? How much money could they possibly I'll bet make? they get paid hardly. I can't even afford to work there. I bet I can't even afford it. I have to pay my rent. My rent is so expensive. I have to pay my student loans. How would I loans? pay back my student loans? Life in the studio begins at the internship threshold. The street scum is tasked with mindless and seemingly never-ending wood burning. She will develop a feeling that perhaps she just isn't good enough. Perhaps she is not cut out for this work. She is unpaid. No one tells her when her task will end. The threshold guardian makes her feel neither forbidden nor welcome. The intern threshold indoctrinates the street scum's mind with the studio code. She must conform her behavior to the 10 bullets doctrine. Reading requirements. 
viewing requirements. Indeterminate, mindless labor. No pay, silence. It is during the internship that the street scum learns to listen. Our street scum has ventured into the womb of sacred artifacts. Each artifact is born of 10,000 tasks. Each task beset on all sides by forces of resistance. These sacred artifacts wish not to be born. It is only by the application of love, sacrifice, energy, pain, and strength that they come into this world at all. The artifact's beauty is proxy for the human virtue manifest in the efforts to divine them from the mundane, dirty, and toxic materials the street scum will come to manipulate using unfamiliar, loud, and dangerous tools. Before she is bestowed with the power to create sacred artifacts. Artifacts that will in turn one day call another street scum to the studio path. Our street scum must first endure a decade long road of trials. Square and level. Everything. Always. Square. 
Okay, that one's a half. That one's a quarter. What is this? What is this one? I don't know. This is it an eighth? This is fraction. What do I call it? Three and a half quarters. I used to know this. Yeah, this is the fourth grade. This is fraction. What numbers do the lines mean? The studio allows a one sixteenth inch margin of error. For the street scum, this means she must understand and master the 16th inch graduations on a standard imperial tape measure. She must know, at first glance and without thinking, the difference between halves, quarters, eighths, and sixteenths. She must know what numbers the lines mean. Measurement mastery is a non-negotiable studio requirement. cutting tools. Most of them unforgiving. All of them dangerous. The street scum will learn each tool. She will learn the particulars of cutting and drilling steel. Wood. Polycarbonate. Foam core. Glass. And fiberglass. For each tool, she will learn skill and respect. On her journey, the street scum will be confronted with a task.
beyond both her skill set and her perceived talent. The task will seem impossible. In the case of our street scum, this impossible task is to divine from a flat sheet of foam core an exact model of a plastic bunny. The bunny she makes must be cute. The street scum does not think that she can complete this task because the bunny is full of compound curves. That is to say, curves that curve in multiple directions. The combo square, compass, and straight edge are useless to her now. The street scum must trust her touch, judgment, and faith. The street scum does not think that she can do it, but she believes that she can. And she knows that she must. Failure, day in, day out, starting from scratch again and again. The glue from this industrial hot glue gun is dispensed at 390 degrees Fahrenheit, nearly double the temperature of boiling water. She will be burned and burned again. In order for the bond to hold properly, each glued seam must be held perfectly in place without movement for 90 seconds while the glue cools. There will be hundreds of seams, hour upon hour, of holding the hot foam core in place. Failure, again, failure again. The voice of doubt pecks at the street scum's resolve. I can't do it. I tried. But I just can't. Okay. It's fine. I'm just not good enough. That's I should, get my, I should get my office job. At least I'll have security. At least I'll have my security back. Confronted with an impasse, our street scum seeks wisdom from the studio goddess. And the studio goddess tells her this. In order to complete this task, you must understand two things. First, your body knows how to render this sacred object, but your brain does not.
allow your hands to divine the bunny without instruction from your mind. And the second bit of wisdom she whispered, for it was not for us to hear. Though she has not yet completed her journey, the street scum now possesses extraordinary powers. Powers immensely valuable to agents of exploitation from the outside world. Moneyed sirens attempt to lure her from her path, but the true hero inside her resists, for she is bound by a nameless force to a profound duty she does not fully comprehend.
The studio spirit manifest in these sacred objects accounts for their sanctity. This spirit is celebrated throughout the world and serves to inspire other street scum to pursue the hero's journey. <laughs>